section I'm going to be showing here today is how to set up your Echo Show as a always-on clock. I'll be starting with the Echo Show 5, which has a variety of clock faces, and then also showing you the Echo Show 8, which is representative of the also the 10 and the 15 Echo Show, which don't have a choice of clock faces. <clears throat> now, the numbers here look quite large on this Echo Show 5. They're actually the same size on the Echo Show 8 that I'll be showing later, but they look smaller, of course, because it has a bigger screen. Now, as I'm talking here, you might notice that there's no changes, there's no flickering. Let's go through the settings I made on the Echo Show 5. Note, you cannot do these in the Alexa app. You have to do them on the Echo Show. So if you're doing this for a remote parent, you'd have to do it there or do it before shipping to them. So let's first wipe down settings and home and clock. Now, the first thing you want to do, see home content here? You want to clean everything out of there, and I mean everything. Go through. See, I got everything cleared out. The most important is rotate continuously. You want that off. And let's back up. Now, you want to pick your, on the Echo Show 5, you get to choose what kind of clock you want. So let me show you what I picked that worked well for me. I picked modern. And then I picked this, whoop, come on over here, flip mode. Now, what you can do in this case is go through edit. You can pick the background color. I picked this one. And at this point, you can also choose whether you want the date and weather, the temperature to show up there. And of course, save it. Now, something else you need to do. <laughs> Go back into settings again. And this is the most important. Home and clock. Night mode. Now what you want to do here is turn this on, the night mode behavior. And I picked it to be always on as much as I could within five minutes. So I picked midnight to 11.55 p.m. In night mode, what that does is that prevents some of those other things showing up that you don't want. Uh, because this is decided that it's in night mode, you're sleeping in, and you don't want all those things popping up. So, uh, this is how it should look when it's done. Now, any, anytime you make a change, it may take up to a minute for things to settle down. And how you can tell that, that it's settled is you don't get any flicker here, like the every 20 second flicker. So that's doing pretty good. Now the thing to note here too is even though it's an always on clock, you could have the date and the, uh, I think I turned off weather here, but you, uh, but you could have weather too. And, um, but it's still available to do things like you can still speak to it to do commands or if there's notifications or timed Alexa routines, those will pop up here too. Um, so it's still usable, but it gives you a nice, a steady display. Uh, just, just one thing, if anything interrupts this steady display, like you speak to it or a notification, it may take up to a minute until things settle down and you may get some of those annoying displays you didn't want. So let's try this. Ziggy? Ziggy? What's today's date? Thursday, January 19th. And so, you see, I got, I got some flicker here now, uh, the 20 second flicker thing. If we wait a little bit here, we'll see it'll go away. Um, and it's still not popped back to its normal state. You see, it's still doing the 10 to 15, 20 second flicker here. 
Let's see. And still not. <laughs> Hang in here. It's taking longer than I remember. Let's say up to a minute, okay? <laughs> Let's see when the time flips if it goes back to its normal state here. And still not. How do you like that? There it goes. Okay, it's finally back. But I can tell when it dims down like that, it's switched into the night mode. Now, very rarely, oh yeah, I do have the, temp the temperature up there. Very rarely do you uh, get any interruptions during this. The only thing is if you say something or some kind of timer goes off, then it could flip out of this mode for up to a minute, let's say. So that's basically it for the Echo Show 5. I'll show you the Echo Show 8 next, which doesn't have a choice of clock faces, so it's a little different. But it gives you a nice stable display if that's what you want. Okay, here's our Echo Show 8. Uh, there's no choice of clock faces like there are in the Echo Show 5. These numerals are the same size as the 5, but they look smaller here. And um, let's see what you have to do to set this up. Again, swipe down. Settings. Okay. Um, home content. First one. Turn everything off. You gotta watch out. Sometimes new things will sneak in there like that. Go down through. Oops, got a few. Clean this up. I don't want the weather popping up. I'll ask for the weather if I want it. Make sure you have that off. Rotate continuously. Let's go back to the top. And now one other thing you need to do. Go back in here. And in this case, it's and down here, there's a couple things. One, you want minimal on this. You have to do that. That's that kind of plain display. You need that. And in night mode, you have to set the schedule time again here what I did, midnight to 11.55. I found that you need, on the Echo Show 8, you need to have this off. I know that sounds strange, but it's different than the 5. To me, it works best like this. If you have that on, at times it can blank out the screen on you when you don't want it. So I suggest you do it like that. Okay, let's see how things look here. And... Again, it should be a nice, a steady di clock display. Oh, since I changed some things, we're going to have to wait up to a minute here to avoid that um, about 20 second uh, flicker. So we'll see. We'll give it, we'll give it uh, a little bit longer here to see if it works. The other thing I want to point out to you, I'll include a link in the... Um, description. Maybe if this is for a loved one who maybe has trouble because there's no AM, PM, and you'd like a way for them, say in the middle of the night, if they look over there and it says 4, they may think it's 4 p.m. and get up for dinner. Uh, there's a skill that you can load that, that I'll demonstrate here in a moment. Uh, Boy, a minute's a long time here, huh? Okay. Um, that will give you not only the full uh, date and a.m., p.m., but also if they ask during their normal sleeping hours, which you can set for them, it'll tell them how much time that they have left to sleep. So let's, so let's give that a shot. Ricky? is the name of this device, but I've renamed uh, the wake word here. Ziggy, what time is it? 
The time is 12.42 p.m. Okay, that's the standard uh, way it's done, and that might not make sense to them. I'm going to show you how this skill works. Okay, here's both of them side by side. As you can see, the size of the numbers are about the same. But let me show you that Alexa skill I was talking about that could help your loved one if they have trouble uh, knowing AM for PM and if during the night they should get up or not. Ziggy, what time is it? Good morning, Jeff. It's 10.51 a.m., Thursday, January 19th. And on the larger one here, I'll just show you that. Ziggy, what time is it? Good afternoon, Ricky. It's 12.51 p.m., Thursday, January 19th. And since these are both in different time zones, that's why you see the different times up there. You notice, too, because something interrupted the steady clock, it's going to take about a minute before things settle down and you don't get the winking or, in, or any kind of other pop-ups that you don't want. So um, I can run out the clock here. Or, um, again, I'll put the links below both the steps if it's easier for you to read the steps um, in a document versus watching the video and also a link a link to the alexa skill called my clock that could be a benefit and okay so this one is now settled down you see and hopefully that one which i set off a little bit later should settle down here too but they do make an Echo Show makes a nice uh, clock display, and you can still use it. You can still talk to it as you saw me do. You can still have timed routines run or notifications. Those will all still be processed. And I think they are both happy. Oh, not quite. <laughs> How long is a minute, huh? Come on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna have to call it folks. Anyway, you've seen it at the start, it'll settle down. I think maybe it has no. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. I want to show you stable clocks here. You can see how he stabilized now. This this one is Man, this here is the longest minute I've ever seen. Um, we finally get it. No. I think it finally has, folks. Yes, it's it's <laughs> stable now and it'll stay like that until you either talk to it or some timed event goes off. Here's an example of the My Clock Alexa skill at night when your loved one may not know how much time they have left to sleep. Ziggy, what time is it? Oh. It's still time for sleeping. Jeff, it's 10.39 p.m., Thursday, January 19th. You still have 7 hours and 51 minutes left to sleep. Oh, they, okay, that could help them. There's a p.m. there. It tells them how much time they have left to sleep. 